Okay, hi, I'm Becky Pauley, and I'm here to talk about cost optimization. Our learning's helping engineering teams to optimize their Kubernetes clusters and some ideas and resources to take away. So what is cost optimization? Well, the first thing that might spring to mind for many of us is savings. We look at our cloud bill, we think well, that's costing us quite a lot, and we try to reduce it. We cut costs. But cost cutting on its own is risky. At best, we're making decisions without really understanding our spend. And at worst, if we scrimp and save on the wrong thing, it could harm the reliability, productivity, or even the reputation of our business. But if it's not all about savings, then what do we focus on instead? Well, at its core, cost optimization is about business value. And when we focus on value, it helps us to think differently, not just about how much we are spending, but also on the return on investment that we get for that spend. And that helps us to ask more interesting questions. For example, let's say that I make a saving in one area, over-provisioned development environments. Do I want to keep it? Or do I want to reinvest it in something else, like improving the reliability or latency of a production service? Can I measure the value of my spend and improve it? Now, do not fear this shift from savings to value does not mean we need to abandon all hope of greater cost efficiency. Part of cost optimization is avoiding costs that we don't need and getting a good discount on the things that we do. And one way to start thinking about this is waste. If some areas of my spend are more valuable than others, then where am I wasting money and resources? Now, to make these sorts of decisions, we need some information, and that's great for the privileged few of us who have access to our organization's billing information, but that leaves the rest of us in the dark. And what we need is visibility. Good visibility starts with cost allocation, which means that we are splitting up the cost of resources between the teams that consume them. And to start with, we need to have good organization at the account, project, folder level, and then Finer grained cost allocation comes by adding uh, labels, tags, metadata to resources, including shared resources, identifying ownership of the things that teams consume. Once we have all of this information, we can start to display useful metrics about that spend. Uh, things like cost per click, cost per application, utilization, and something that we have already mentioned, cloud waste. Cloud waste is a really useful measure because it surfaces all those hidden, underutilized, idle resources that we got used to paying for or forgot about. Because the reality is we get really comfortable with our stable monthly spend, and then we can have all sorts of ugly things lurking behind the scenes. Cloud waste surfaces the costs that we don't need so that we can focus on the things that we do. If we had more time together today, I'd dive a little bit deeper into automating cost optimization best practices, into making the most of cloud discount models, but we sort of covered that somewhere else. So if you're interested, you can have a look at a bit of a deep dive here. But actually, in the last five minutes, if we have started to shift our focus from savings to value and waste, if we have some good visibility in place, then we are starting to adopt a new approach, a FinOps approach, to our cloud spend. Why FinOps? Well, because it helps us to do all the things we've already talked about today, maximizing the business value we are getting from the cloud, making data-driven decisions about our spend, and creating financial accountability, ownership within our teams. If you want to know more, the FinOps Foundation's website is a really comprehensive bank of resources. I definitely recommend that. And if you're a book reader, Cloud FinOps would be my recommended choice. Um, because we're engineers, we also couldn't resist building some open source tooling to try and help out with some of this. So have a look on our GitHub. Uh, we would really appreciate feedback and comments. And if you want a sneaky demo, uh, you can find one in the booth outside. Uh, but yes, five-minute FinOps. I hope you found these ideas, resources useful. If you have questions, comments, feedback, I would love to hear from you and enjoy the rest of the conference. <laughs>